uh, with us. You, uh, well, I must say, Paul, well, it's sir. good to see you. Your band is great as ever, really. Thank you, uh, Mr. Rickles. You don't have to call me Mr. Rickles. Master will be fine. <laughs> They are. You know, people say that people go on television shows and they feel that it's uh, their responsibility as TV guests to compliment the band. But in this case, it's always true, isn't it? Oh, oh Paul is really great. I mean, he really, when he was in the lobby tonight telling me how great he was, I mean, uh, and then he mentioned your name and he said, I'm dumping him. I thought that was great. No, that, but it's good to see you, Paul. And, and thanks for the hello in the lobby. He stopped, made it a special point to shake hands with me, and now I'm going to be ill. No, he's a, anyway, uh, <laughs> but he's a good guy. He's and yeah. a fine performer. Do you, uh, of course, of course, you don't work small clubs anymore because they couldn't pay your price. You work the big rooms. You go to Las Vegas, you're probably making a quarter of a million a week. You go to Atlanta, you're City. close. Geez, right on the nose. Yeah. Jesus, so close. <laughs> I can't be that far off. But well, I, I know what you're getting. All of a sudden, I remember you when you were in the improvs, just a little guy with a little, you know, a little whistle in the teeth, and now. <laughs> Now it's like walking in the hall, shooting lines at me, That's running right, around in your I underwear, know. attacking it's, girls, anything that moves, bugs, ants, <laughs> chairs, and everybody goes, go, Dave, go! Yeah. You became the biggest thing no, in the world. I'm like, I'm like a pauper But anyway, to you. the point is... The um, point is you're a wealthy man, admit it. Stand up and be proud. <laughs> These people were standing in line in underwear and shorts, anything to see you, and you go back to your sta a state in Connecticut and go, here, fella, come on, boy! And it's a human being. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> You're the guy with the money. No, but the, what I was going to ask you was, uh, do you ever get a chance to go to some of these clubs? Why that, do you do this? Is this a wrestling match? I don't know. It's, it's, anyway, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> let me out, Peter. Let me out. Anyway. <laughs> but do you ever get a chance to go to the clubs that the comedians are working today that I, would have been equivalent to the ones that you worked when you started? I tried to. My day was a little different, Dave. You know, it, uh, my day was like... Uh, Satonia and Rosanna and about 30 striptease artists. In those days, you know, they had little pasties. It was like a big deal. Right. And we had 18 comics, and we all were fighting to get in there. Today, they, were, they were real clubs in those days. Well, if you call them clubs, they, you, you, you had a drink to keep going. Yeah. You know, it was like, you know, uh, the girls came out, and the sailors in those days during the war, they all went, look at abroad, you know, and then yeah. you come out and did a joke, and everybody said, get off, Jew, let the other guy on. Let the broad back on, you know. <laughs> that was my name, get off, Jew. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh... <laughs> And so it was very, very tough. But uh, today you have improvs, uh, Bud Freeman, and all the places you Yeah, you, you have the clubs now that are specifically designed for comedy, and people know when they go there that they're going to see four or five comics. Right, right. Yeah. In our day, it was, it was a lot different. Yeah. We, we, Much we, we, tougher in your day. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. tough. You will, you will know from heartache. You, you've got it made now, yeah. Dave. You don't, have, you don't have to look back. Never look back. <laughs> I go to Hollywood. When I go back to Los Angeles, I go by the improvs, and I say, Dave, you know, Dave Letterman is doing so great in New York, and the guy goes, <laughs> <laughs> I start to spit up on my shoes for no reason. Gee, they're not all boosting you on, Dave. They're not all boosting you on. I'm a friend. They're esteemed that you I'm made so, it and they didn't, Dave. Uh, they're really happy, esteemed. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be here. And by the way, Alice sends her love. Alice. You remember. The waitress in, in Barney's Beanery, you know, the one that kept, you know, well, we won't talk about it because you, when you did the trick with the plate, that yeah, was fantastic. <laughs> the whole audience went, he does a trick with a plate? <laughs> anyway, uh, but good luck to you. Thank really, you. Because uh, you're doing big. Now, uh, we, we can do one of two things here. We can talk about the thing at the Friars Club with uh, Frank's wife, Frank Sinatra's wife. Oh, yes, Frank Sinatra's wife was on it at the Friars. What was that, dear? That was a... Uh, well, uh, it was, she was uh, made a honorary friar and they had a big mm -hmm. affair for her and Frank was there. And of course, I was there, and Vito Zanzanza was there, <laughs> Carmen Gagazzini, and uh, Louis Vabanano, who sat next to me and said, It's your turn next. <laughs> and I thought it was to get up to speak. Oh, sure. But, <laughs> but he held my head under the, in, the, in, the, yeah. in the tub for half <laughs> But uh, I, I make jokes about Frank, because what could he do to me? Yeah. <laughs> One phone call, and the both of us are going to look like a dartboard. Uh -huh. But uh, Frank is great, and the affair was a, was a big night. Yeah. You weren't at the affair. No, I wasn't invited. Well, to you're too waspy, Dave. Yeah, you can't handle it. Right. Right. <laughs> you're wonderbread. Frank wouldn't ask that. He needs, you know, Tony Bennett's, uh, Alan yeah. King's, all the guys from the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, you're the kind of guy from the, you know, you sit around at Ball State going, it's my turn to bowl, Lou. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> So it's, it's not your bag, you know. No, you I would have around. been uncomfortable there. You, I, I can't picture you marrying no. a Jewish girl. You'd never marry a well, Jewish girl. Of course girl. I would. No, you wouldn't. No, you couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle it. I mean, really, I just can't see you sitting in a deli having a corned beef sandwich. You'd probably have it with mayo on white bread and sit there and say to the waiter, Herman, would you bring me another round of a beer? <laughs> anyway, uh, you're not that kind of guy, Dave. Yeah. You're a great guy, but you, you, well, you belong in the Midwest, you know, sitting around going, who took my rake? <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Who took my rake? That's right.
Let's see. Hey, there's a writer's strike. Give it a break. There, you know, they, they may have settled it. We understand they may have settled it. Yeah, boy, Dukakis is dancing over a Greek salad. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's going to be you, a tough race. Him addition, and George in addition to you being at the Melody Fair Theater near Buffalo, mm. we understand that you'll be at Brown's Hotel in ah, the Catskills. That's the treat. That's why I'm in town. Yeah. I haven't been in the Catskills in 25 years, and I'm going up there to find a... What are you, a seal? <laughs> I said, the Catskills, and the guy went... <laughs> Some loose fish are around. <laughs> Four Jews got rifles. A fish, boom. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be up at the so Brown. you're looking forward to that. Oh, are you kidding? That's my whole life. That's why I'm here. That's my life. Don't get nervous, Stop Dave. screaming. Well, take a value. Relax. Relax, uh, Dave. When does that That's begin? why when you make love to your girl, you don't even perspire. You gotta enjoy, for crying out loud. <laughs> gotta do what I do. Stand on top of the chair and go, yeah! <laughs> make it a rodeo. Don't just sit in the room and circle a oh, bed no, and get an estimate. We had, uh, had a man of the cloth there. Oh, my there. goodness. <laughs> Hi, Father. We were just talking about the Vatican. <laughs> Hello, the, Father. The hotel Hi, Father. I'm Don Rickles. What is your name, Father? <laughs> father Philip Eichner. Thank you, Father. I think we, I think we may have... We may father, have as you looked at me, you just paralyzed me. <laughs> now, I, uh, uh, where is your diocese, Father? Long Island. I Nancy see, Father. County. I'm not from the FBI, Father. I'm just a fellow That's talking right. to you. You're very, very nice, Father, and bless you. I'm of the Jewish faith, and you're of the Catholic faith. That's My best right. friend, Bob Newhart, is an Irish Catholic, and when he comes to church, he loves to hit the bell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Loves to hit the bell. All right, so anyway, uh, you'll be up there at... <laughs> you know what's fella. funny? I think the priest bought it. I think so. I bought it. Uh, the father went, yeah, hit the bell. <laughs> Good to see you again. Hey, this is Have uh, fun up there in the Catskills. Uh, yeah, I'll be up at Brown's. If you get a chance, you I'll drop by in your Chevy. <laughs> okay? Right, I'll and thanks, Dave, for having us. Thanks, thanks for doing it. Don Rickles, and uh, we'll be right back.